Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby and today I'm going to talk about spider mites. Um, I noticed from the, the most recent plant that I bought that it had spider mites. Um, I'd say it was about a week after I had it and it wasn't until I was looking at the new growth that I did start seeing that they were all climbing up um, each stem of the, of the newest leaf. And with the situation that we're in at the moment with being in, um, in lockdown and not being able to easy, um, easily access um, particular products that you would naturally go to, I thought I might try and see if I can get rid of them um, with at-home remedies. So this video is going to be across um, a couple of days. I think I'm going to do it over the week and just see how I get on with removing the spider mites from my new amazing plant. And, but I'll, I'll just keep everyone up to date, see how I get on. And hopefully um, by the time I film the outro to this video in a week's time, um, the problem will be fixed. So the first thing you need to do is grab your plant and just wash it down. Um, easier to do outside, but we live in a city centre apartment, so don't have that option here. So I've got my trusty bowl below me and just give it a good clean and see if you can get um, the spider mites off um, that way first. So we're just kind of doing a big clean um and again you can do this in you can do this in the shower you can do this um in the bath but you really just want to absolutely soak the the plant um obviously be gentle whilst you're doing it because you don't want to damage any leaves so my plant is looking a bit sad now it's completely soaked um but you need to be cleaning it, soaking it, and then we'll go into the next stage. So the next thing you need to do is to make your homemade concoction. So here I have 400 millilitres of water. I'll be adding in half a teaspoon of washing up detergent, half a teaspoon of olive oil, and then just a dash of alcohol. The only thing I could find was um, some vodka, so that will do the trick. And we need to be putting this all together into this bottle and once that's done we're giving it a good shake and then we're going to spray the plant down to kill and um, keep the spider mites at bay. So after that's done, give it a good shake, make sure it's all um, mixed together. You want to be doing this quite quickly, otherwise um, you'll lose the effect of the alcohol. Um, so do it straight away after you've made your um, homemade remedy. And then we are just spraying the plant and spraying all the leaves and ensuring we're getting absolutely last bit of leaf soaked with this. Just before I was doing this, I was having a look at how many spider mites there were and I could see them crawling from leaf to leaf and it was a bit, it was a bit disgusting, but it's all natural and we do unfortunately have to kill these pests sometimes. So the plant is quite a small plant already, so it is, um, it's looking a little bit worse for wear just because of how delicate it is, but Fingers crossed, it will spring back to life after it dries out a bit. Um, so that's it for this um, part of getting rid of spider mites. What I'm gonna do now is let it dry out and I'm gonna sit it next to a humidifier because your spider mites don't like humid environments. So I'll keep, um, I'll keep an eye on it. If I start noticing they come back, I will make a similar um, concoction again, just to give it another spray but I'll update everyone and see how this went. So it's been six days now since I treated this plant. Um, I treated it the day I made the homemade remedy and I waited about three hours and then I treated it again then I waited another um, a couple of hours and did it again. I don't know if that's needed. Um, I just wanted to make sure 
before I, I wasted it and threw it down the drain that I was using it as um, as much as possible without obviously drenching the soil. And I have to say, I haven't seen any spider mites. I've been checking this morning, day and night, um, every day since. I have noticed that there is um, there's more browning off the leaves. Um, so you can see just little bits here. Um, it's a lot more browning and then I'm potentially going to lose this little leaf here in the corner. But again, it's not something that bothers me too much. It hasn't progressively got worse. The spider mates appear to be gone. Um, so that's all I could really wish for. If that isn't the case, if they come back, I will then probably go back to ordering some neem oil and some normal stuff that most people would use for spider mites. But fingers crossed, it works. I just wanted to use what I had in the house because I wanted to do a quick remedy and see if it would work, but also um, a cheap one as well without having to buy something if I didn't have to. So I'm really happy with the results. Um, again, I wanted to just show people um, the beginning where it clearly had spider mites. It had, I could count about 20 on there on my own, um, horrible little things. And now where you clearly can't see like any. And again, they used to hide under the leaves. Um, I've checked the soil, I've checked everything and it seems to be all clear, which I'm really, really happy about. So fingers crossed this plant now starts thriving. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you. Bye.